Okay, I'm gonna uh, try talking uh, through this um, tutorial. I don't talk very loud since the stroke, so um, I hate, it's one of the things I hate them is when I'm watching a video and I can't hear what they're saying, but I can't talk too, too loud. It kind of just won't happen, but I'm putting, these are 15 inches long, doubled means that they're 30 inches long. I'm putting three at a t three, you know, one, and then two, and then three, and then after I have a set of three, I'm tying them together like this, so that um, it just it makes it stand out. It looks a little more like uh, Tinkerbell's. Uh, outfit that she had on um I made one for my granddaughter but unfortunately her mom said it didn't fit her so this man I didn't have this mannequin then um but this mannequin is 21 inches by 19 inches by 21 inches which I think is supposed to be roughly for a five-year-old my granddaughter is three but her mom says that she wears a five a five T so these do stretch out a little bit more um, you just have to wing it I guess um, but it takes about, if you don't double up these uh, pieces, it takes about 30 pieces. It's like about 30 squares in each a row. And um, right now, I'm on my second uh, roll of this tool uh, that I'll okay. this tool here I got it at um at Walmart it's six inches by 15 yards and um, it was about a dollar it was uh, during for their Christmas stuff that they had so you might not find it again I don't know. I have my Walmart's is the only store we have in my town. Um, I'd have to go two hours any direction to get to a Joanne's or a Michael's, um, and I don't even know if we even have those other stores around. Oh, okay, here's three pieces, and then I'm going to take it you can see, take it, hmm, I don't know if you can, I'm going to tie it, all three pieces, into a knot, and um, at the bottom of it. And I'm sorry if you can't see this is the first tutorial I've done. And well, maybe I should have tried something easier to do. Just pull it down. But I made probably about 30. Two shoes and two two gowns and princess gowns, Disney princess gowns. Um, cause for like five years, I've been donating to Salvation Army for um, 
Well, for children who can't, you know, get presents or something for Christmas. And, but this year, they, they wouldn't return the calls and tell me what I should do and where I should take them all to. So <laughs> now I'm sitting with 32 twos in my sewing room because my granddaughter, she lives in another state. And I can't afford to mail all of them. Or she would have every tutu, every princess, Disney princess you could think of. Um, unless I have more of them I want to make. But I started making them too because I thought it would be like good therapy. Because I had no way to go to physical therapy after the stroke. And everything that I've done, I've had to do myself um, when it comes to like that. Um, I've gotten better every month. And so that's a good thing. But I'm thinking this one is probably going to because I'm on my second roll of this. I'm probably going to have to open up a third roll to have enough to finish this off. Now, I wanted to show you on here. Let me see. Sorry again if you couldn't see all that I was doing. Okay. If you go in through the top like this and then you go down and then pull your two your tool I'm sorry in through the loop then you have what looks like a tie but if you go and you do it the opposite way And you go, hold on, you go in there and you go up into the hole instead of down like this. If you go up inside into the hole and then you have your loop on top and then you bring it, your tool through it. Then you have a little bit of a different, it's not as, I don't know, it's not as full, I don't think. But you probably, I don't think you could see that. And unfortunately, I don't do this very well. So, I'll have to see if I can find a better way to do these tutorials because I'd really like to do more um, tutus. But this is the third one. Pull down through. Pull up. Alright. Take all those, tie them in a knot, and then pull like that. And then, well, I forgot one. So, good thing I didn't pull it tight. I'll just open it up, grab the one that wasn't there and do it again. Just pull down. This doesn't stand out as much as I would have liked, but everyone's different.
so it's like a second row, which means if it takes three, I might not have enough tool. If one row takes three, I might not have film um, because I only have. I'll shoot fire. I only have the f four rolls and I'm on the third, the, the second one. So we'll see. And again, hopefully you can hear me rambling. Because I really do dislike when I'm watching a video and I cannot understand what they're saying because my computer my laptop the volume only goes so high and it is not loud so but it's what it is but there's several people on YouTube who make tutus so I really enjoy watching um, there's uh, she now calls her show Cheryl and Bob, but it was just at a bow. She makes really cute tutus. Sterling style. She's made some, but she she makes a lot of shirts and stuff for little kids, and she has the whole you know decorative embroidered shirts and um, tutus with them that are really cute. So I like watching them. They're, not all their videos are about the tutus, though, but that was the reason why I started watching them. Oh, there's another one. Reesey. R-E-E-C-I-E-D-I-Y. She makes some beautiful tutus. Um, she does a, the, a lot of the princesses also. So, if you if you like me, you just like to watch all the, you know, watch a whole bunch of the bunch of the same thing, um, and then you change it to the way you want, and it becomes your own. I get the ideas, and then I do my own touches. That's how I cook too. I look at the pictures, and it's like, hmm, I can make that. I turned into my own concoction. But, alright, let me get through this and then we shall come back and maybe I'll figure out a better way to do the, the camera so you can see more of what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to the second row now, and because I'm a little afraid that I might not have enough tool to do the whole thing, I'm going to do two strips, skip a space, and then two strips, and see how that looks. So, here's, let's see if you can see, here's one set of three. So I'm going to do the one, there's one, well, let me do over here where you can see, there's one, two holes, right there. Okay. 
Hey. Okay, one. And like I said, this is my first, really, my first tutorial, and especially since the stroke, so might not be, you know, a masterpiece here or anything, but I just thought it might help me get better. Here we go. Put that in there. And there we go. So there's two, and let's skip a spot. Sorry. So here it went in. Let's skip this one and go over to the next one. And I think that will make it that. I can make this with just these four little rolls of this tutu because this is a Walmart one and this is smaller than their normal one they have. I think it's only 15 yards on a roll. So. Okay. Ample. So we skipped. You can see we skipped right here. But I think it's going to look alright. So let me go through, get this all done, and then I'll come back. Okay, thanks. Okay, the second row is on. And I had just enough tool to finish that. So now what I need to do is cut the bottom pieces here the extra on it you need to cut those off and then fluff it out some because it's really like flat right now hold on a sec